had some requests on doing a book review on my Sunday Missile that I just got and I adore it. I've gone to three or four masses with it now and I just wanted to show you like what's on the inside in case you were interested in getting your own personal missile. I definitely think that it customizes the mass and makes it just that much more personal. So this little guy has a lot of stuff in it and this is going to have every single Sunday reading we, that the church ever does. So it has it broken down into the three years and we are on year B and there's really great art in here. So here's your table of contents, calendars and introductions, all the stuff in the from mass, the different special times. There's also the treasury of prayers in here and there's also an overview of the catechism, which is awesome. And then the marriage masses, it's all in here. So there is like the order of mass, right? And this is going into kind of the different basics. This is awesome. I've heard of people evangelizing based on just having a missile in their car. You know, what everything is. And then you get into the order of the mass. So here's all your basics for, you know, if you want to like read along with stuff or like when I was singing the glory, Gloria today, you know, I just follow along with this. And then these are, here's your creeds. And you could just hold a bookmark this, you know, so you could pop in. It comes with two place markers. Again, we're getting into the preparation. So it has all that. Here's your Eucharistic prayers, communion, concluding rites. So, you know, our liturgical years are broken down into A, B, or C. And so, and our years start on Advent. So it'll tell you what years, so we're in, you know, last year was year A, we're in year B this year. But, so it says A up here, and then we're going to start with Advent. So I will flip to where I am in the liturgical reading. So this was today, we're on the 18th Sunday of Ordinary Time in, the, in B. So see up here it says B, and then what I really love, so here's an image. It has a theme. So it ties all the different readings together. Then you have your entrance, you have your collect. And then for the first reading, it tells you what it is. It gives like a little like title for it. And then you have kind of a summary here before you get into the actual words from the Bible. And then your responsorial Psalms all here. And then again, there's a little bit a so your second readings here. Again, it has a little bit of a title talks a little bit before getting into the actual text and once more for, and then for the gospel same thing Christ the true bread from heaven so then it's tying it in as well and then here's your basic um, tie-ins before you have your gospel and then you have your prayer over the offerings your communion I don't know what OR stands for <laughs> and then prayer after communion and so that's what it have for every single Sunday it's laid out like that. And I just, I love the fact that there are these summaries that just um, really just help you take the reading a little bit deeper than if you just read it by yourself. So then, so that's the majority of this book, right? It's all your Sundays. But I do want to show you the back of it as well. So after, you know, the last reading that's in here, then you have Stations of the Cross. So look how pretty these are. And you guys, you can pray the Stations of the Cross any time of the year. It doesn't have to be just during Lent. You just go through and meditate on them. So they're all right here for you, all in the book. And then you have the Proper of Saints. So here are some of the different feast days. It tells you what year it occurs on a Sunday. So these readings will take place over, I think they'll take precedent over like what's on inside here. So this year... You know, we had the Nativity of John. Remember, we read that. So here, June 24th, the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. And here's your readings for that day. So that we can focus. It's pretty cool when they fall on a Sunday. And then you also have a Holy Days of Obligation here. So here's, um, you know, the Assumption of Mary reading that we'll read on August 15th. Then here's like All Souls Day. Okay, and then here's your wedding rites, which is kind of fun to read if you've had a Catholic Mass to kind of remember what... Your wedding sounded like. I have no idea which ones were read at my wedding, which is really sad. I probably should find out, but I don't know which version was read. Okay, so then here 
You have the Catechism of the Catholic Church in Overview, which is really nice. Like, it just talks about, you know, use of the Catechism, Part 1, which, you know, goes through the Apostles' Creed, or, the, I mean, the Nicene Creed. Part 2, the celebration of the Christian mystery. So you have all your different sacraments. And, yeah, all seven. And then Life in Christ, so the Beatitudes and Virtues and the Commandments. And then Part 4, Christian Prayer. And then you have your treasury prayers, which is really nice. Here's some morning prayers, prayer of divine guidance throughout the day, night prayers. I mean, I'm always wanting like to find more like night prayers and things. I love doing this prayer before Holy Communion. So I'll read like one or sometimes I'll just read all of them because they all touch on a different aspect, obviously. Faith, hope, love, and contrition, which is really nice to do this before receiving the sacrament. And then um, prayers after Holy Communion, you got a bunch prayer to Christ the King. You have your indulgence prayer before crucifix. I like praying this. I didn't even know what indulgent was before I got this book. And now it says, you know, if you pray this each Friday of Lent, it's a plenary indulgence and it's only partial any other time of the year. And you can pray it at home. Um, the prayer of Mary. I don't even know what this is. Anima Christi. But again, it says partial indulgence. And then you have... Oh, they have the stations across here, and they also have it in the other spot, which is like, this is more firm. So, there's twice, but here's, you know, it's, here's a prayer after, so this is more like a prayer. Then you have your Holy Rosary uh, Mystery, so you guys, it's so nice to meditate on the image when you're meditating. So, um, and it tells you, Mondays and Saturdays, Thursday, except not during Lent, Tuesdays and Fridays, Wednesdays, except during Lent, and Sundays. So, like today, we prayed to Rosary on the way to Mass, and so Resurrection, Ascension, Holy Spirit, Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, BBM, and then the crowning of BBM. <laughs> so funny. And then we have some more prayers. General prayers. Here's a nice prayer for health, peace, and joy. I love collections of prayers that just really help out everything. And then look, you guys, there's exam examination of conscience in here. So that's obviously always a good thing to have. So that is it. I adore this book. It has so much. I love just being able to throw it in my purse. It's not, it's very, very, um, like, bendy. It's, I think it's faux leather. This is what the spine looks like. St. Joseph Sunday Missal. New Revised Liturgy, Complete Edition Catholic Book Publishing Company. And, of course, there's nothing on the back. So, I will link this below. I got it off of Amazon. So, it was super fast, just easy to ship. And if you're looking for a missile or if, you know, you need to give one as a gift, I just love this and I'm really happy with it. So, I would love to know if you have a Sunday missile or a daily missile that you love. I'm looking into now wanting ones that are daily so that I can stop using my phone as much in the morning. But if you have a different Sunday Missile or Daily Missile that you use, please let me know. I just would, I'm super curious what people, like resources that people use. And again, if you're interested, I will have it linked down below. So God bless, make sure to like this video, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. God bless, bye.